Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeeves. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, today we're playing some Minecraft. Because I love this game, and I've always wanted to be to do a, a YouTube series on it. It's really the reason I started my little channel. Now, for our first video, I've decided uh, we're going to do a hardcore world. Just started this up, let it render for a minute or two, just because, you know, I find when I'm recording and YouTube is doing a lot of rendering, the screen pretty much freezes, so does the webcam, and then you're looking at me going, well, you can still hear me, and it's just not very good. So we're, we're trying to tune, uh, fine-tune that a bit. So let's get right in here. Um, I'm running Minecraft 1.7.10, and I have a, a slew of uh, awesome mods that I've put into place. Uh, we're kind of going to cover them just as we go. I will point them out. As you can see right away, uh, we've got Huge Trees mod. Makes huge trees. Awesome. And uh, that beehive that you saw just behind me, that is from the growth craft mod. Both very, very fun mods. We're not going to bother with the beehive because we're pretty far from uh, uh, needing bees for any reason. I need one more bit of wood here so I can get an axe. The axe is important because I have tree capitator installed, so these giant trees will fall very quickly. And then we'll have lots of wood and we can just straight up move on. I don't know why I made two axes. That was not intentional. But anyway, as all of my fellow Minecrafters know, when you're starting a brand new world, you got to start off with resources. got to get some half-decent gear, then we're going to go mining, going to grab some cobblestone, search for some iron, and then eventually we'll find a place to settle down a little bit, and we will go forward from there. Yeah. So this being a hardcore world, I don't know how much work we're going to do into an actual settlement because who wants to put that much work in when some damn creeper could sneak up on you and boom, then there goes all your work. Sad. Sadness. Sad face. So we're going to take this seriously but not invest a ton. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got some caves right off the bat. Always like to see that just means we can search for resources start getting kind of settled right away here so we're gonna concentrate we've got a certain order I like to do things first and foremost damn wooden tools damn wooden tools Oh, that was not intentional. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Jeez, this guy's gonna last ten minutes. If that. No more, no more stone tools. Six, seven, eight for a furnace. Two, three for an axe. Two for a sword. And I think that's all I need right this second. Right this second. I like to try and be sort of efficient in this way. Uh, axe. I hear zombies. Sword. Okay. Beautiful. Let's stick this right here. This is going to be our temporary work area. Very temporary, just as we get set up. Now, we had some pigs just moments ago. Aha, there you are. First and foremost, step number one, we need food. There we go, got some food. Got some tasty, tasty pig flesh. Just enough to get us going. And then we're going to go explore that cave a little bit and try and get some more, more so, more D 
decent uh, resources and tools and other such things. So let's go on down here. Start cooking up some of this meat. Well, that's odd. It only takes this long to chop down. I'm just gonna leave it because that tells me it's tied to one of these big, big trees up there and the whole thing is going to come down, which isn't so bad. It's a ton of wood, but we just don't need that much wood right this second. Okay, we got a tiny bit of food. Just enough to fuel us for a, for a quick explore. We need some torches, though. Let's just have a peek around. Maybe there's some low low hanging fruit by which I mean uh, some coal that's the word words words from brain you know, iron definitely gonna stop and get some iron awesome we're off to a half decent start we've got some iron now cave system to explore, and boom, there's some coal, and some more iron. Makes me happy. Okay, sweet deal. Let's do one of these. Swap that out for that. Oop. Failed to leap. That's how the monsters get you. Okay, we're gonna backtrack just a bit. I don't want to lose my way. Come forward. And you're dead. There we go. The only good zombie is a dead zombie. Let's see. Oh my god. I like to see spawners, I do, but uh, at this early stage in the game, it's oh, probable death, but we survived, and look at all this sweet gear we found! Bonus, man! How lucky are we? We just got a whole bunch of sweet gear. That's awesome. That saves us some time. We got steel. Steel helmet and a steel chest plate. And a steel sword. Instant upgrades. I love them. The steel is from the Railcraft mod. Steel is awesome for weapons and armor. I believe it has the durability of diamond. But the protection and the damage and, and such stats, same as iron. And it looks cool, so. Bam! So we may stick around here and just build in this area then, because I love spawners. We could build a mob spawner, a uh, crusher, a mob farm, and then we just have, like, tons of uh, easy, easy XP. Easy XP. So if we have easy XP, we can enchant our gear just like crazy. And then we're more, we're stronger and more powerful, and less likely to to die pathetically. That makes me very stoked, you guys. That makes me quite excited. Just gonna cut into here. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna conserve as much resources as we can. This is a dead end. Seal off dead ends, just like so. Prevents the monsters from coming through and also prevents me from wandering back into them. Okay, we've got to light this place up a little better just so we know we're less likely to get zombie attacked. Plus, 
because it's night time, so they will be spawning in greater numbers. We still got two food units. Which is certainly not enough. We're going to have to improve on that situation sooner rather than later.
we're definitely off to a half decent start. We're getting some pretty good iron. And we got some pretty good exploring area. So let's just keep on keeping on for now. What level are we on here? 26. 26. That's getting right down to the good stuff. Yeah. Now oh, now how we doing? 19. 12 to 16 is where you start finding the really good goodies. Stuff like, ooh, there's some gold. I can't mine the gold because I only have a st uh, stone pickaxe. You need steel or better. Iron or better, my apologies. Iron or better to be able to mine stuff. So, on that note, we're going to set up a secondary workstation right here. Right here. Like that. Build one of these. Put that there. Condense some of these down. Boom. Bang. Goodies are coming. Oh, and it's broken. That's fine. I'm not going to craft another one until that iron is ready. And this looks like the foot of the gorge. Plenty deep to be able to start finding diamonds and such, some such goodies. Other, other such goodies. Good things, good things. There we go. Getting an upgrade! Fantastic. Doesn't mean we're gonna stop mining iron, though. Because the more iron we get, the more set up for victory we will be. There, that's plenty for now. That's at least a full suit of armor's worth, and we only need a couple more pieces. Just to round out our current steel ensemble. Yeah. How do we get down there without falling? Just gotta be careful with it, man. Just plan your route. Go nice and slow. And you're not as likely to fall to your death. Okay, cool. This is a good spot. This is a good spot. I feel good about this spot. Now we got lava around. If I have any words of advice for people wanting to play Minecraft, take lava seriously. I already have a bucket. Got it out of that chest. Cool. Take lava seriously. The only death more embarrassing than fall damage is burning to death in the lava. So to properly protect yourself, it's uh, often a good idea to carry a water bucket. You can sometimes save your life, and it's the best and easiest way to just get the lava right out of your face. Eliminate the danger. We're not going to go too far here. Because I'm not seeing anything worth exploring right at this moment. So we're going to go back to this big area. Nice big cavernous area. At least fairly likely to have some goodies. Let's see, check this out. Blah, 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 blah. No more danger! And once we have our diamond pickaxe, we can just come start mining it out. And it's good. But I often have luck finding diamonds in exactly this sort of area. <coughs> Excuse me. Did I even set a timer? I did! I set a timer and it's almost up! That's fine. I'm just gonna round this corner. And that looks like a dead end, so... It's all good. We checked it out. Might as 
we'll grab some redstone. We're not going to need it for quite some time, but we're going to need it eventually. And that is time. That is the end of Jeebs Plays Minecraft Hardcore Episode 1. Uh, I'm going to review the video, make sure it doesn't uh, lag a whole bunch or freeze. If it's okay, we'll do Episode 2. If not, then back to the old drawing board. But, thank you for stopping by, and I will catch you later.